Hello Future Allen, today is June 6th. How have I been doing? Well, quite simply, not the best, not the worst. It's just kind of one of those days where nothing in particular happens. I spent a sizable portion of the day actually being productive, which is good, seeing as I have been in a little bit of a slump. Not the best news, seeing as I have exams coming up and I have to study pretty hard for them. But, uh, at least I got some work done, I have a deadline tomorrow, I'll be able to do it in the time before then because I'm about to do a little bit more work because I am tired. I, I've been staying up real late and getting up real late as well. Uh, I don't know what to blame that on. It's just my, my sleep cycle's a, a bit out of whack at the moment. Like as I record this, it's 1 a.m. because it's the end of the, of the day. Um, I don't know if I've mentioned this, but for the past like 17 weeks, uh, we keep track. I have been in this film club with people on Discord, and honestly, it's one of the most consistent uh, social interactions I have with people. It's like every weekend we just watch a movie, we discuss a movie, and then we put it in a spreadsheet. It's very simple. There's no real commitments. Like I have the D and D thing on, and on Fridays, and well, that's lovely. Uh, I get to be quite active. You know, sometimes. You just want to relax, you want to have a movie. I would much prefer to be watching movies with people in person, but alas, that doesn't seem to be possible because you see, there's a pandemic and also I'm in the wrong country. I'm looking forward to getting back to Dublin because I miss people. And I say this so often, because I don't know about you, Future Alan, but I don't really have many friends here. Even the people that I do know, they're, they're more just like acquaintances who happen to live nearby. Like Ruan is someone that I just get along with real well. Like we can talk non-stop for 12 hours. He's, he's great, he's lovely. But we don't really text just cause like we don't, we don't vibe over text as well as we do in person. I don't know why, but that's just kind of how it is. But back in Dublin, I, I, there's so many people that I know. Uh, I would also like to get a chance to, you know, go down the country with people cause you know, the, the thing that I love about being in the Netherlands is I, I have independence. I can, you know, go where I want, stay out as long as I want. But back in Dublin, I'll be living with my parents. So, you know, that's a, that's a little bit of a downside. Because I'm not as independent back in Dublin as I would be here. And this is something that I'm, I'm learning to appreciate more and more as I live here. Part of the reason I'm not as independent back in Dublin as I am here is because of the public transport infrastructure. In Ireland, my only options to get anywhere are uh, the bus, and that's it. And the buses are kind of shit. Like, uh, I, I grew up way out in the suburbs, so, you know, traveling is not great. Like, if I want to go into the center of Dublin, Dublin City, because, you know, the city centre is the focal point where everyone, like, commutes to because it's like a hub-and-spoke transport network rather than a point-to-point. -point. So it, it's much like you, you travel into the city centre, you travel out to wherever else you're going. That's your only way to commute around Dublin. And if you, uh, if you want to go elsewhere, you're fucked. So what ends up happening is everyone just converges in the city centre. But anyway... It takes me about 45 minutes to an hour to get between my parents' house and Dublin city centre. Which is a long fucking time to see any friends. Whereas here, fucking bicycle. And like, I, in theory, I could cycle around Dublin, but the bicycle infrastructure is not good. Cycling in Dublin is not a pleasant experience. And like, there's hardly anywhere to park your bike. Here, bikes are like fucking shoes. Never mind cars, they're... Fucking everyone cycles everywhere, and it's so convenient. So, the benefits of being in the Netherlands is I'm much more independent, but the downside is I don't know people, and also me being the kind of person that I am, I don't know how to make friends. I don't know how to work on this. I'm quite an antisocial person, so I don't know how to get that first step. And the main reason I know most of my friends back in Dublin is through CTYI, which is, you know, a fucking camp where they put all manner of nerds who can't communicate very easily in, into one location and then because everyone's on the same like peg of not being the most social person everyone just kind of kind of blends in together and for that reason 
I still talk to people from there. But now I need to figure out how to make friends in college. But I haven't really had the opportunity to do that because last year I was mega depressed and this year college has been this room. I haven't gone anywhere else. Like, there's been no opportunity to meet people. But alas, such is life and I'll leave you there. Future Alan, I'll see you tomorrow.